for my review on the book called Thank You for Having Responded to My Call, Messages from the Queen of Peace, Medjugorje. That's in Croatia. Now these are real messages from the Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus. Now, this is an inspiring book. Um, I just want to say a few quotes from it to kind of give a review about how, kind of to show how good it is, so you can like buy it if you want. Um, I just want to kind of advertise it just because I found some really cool books, some really great books, if um, anybody would like to um, read them. So yeah, um, I beseech you, dear children, come to prayer with awareness. In prayer you shall come to know the greatness of God. See, look at my shirt. It's got like, it's got um, an angel and the Virgin Mary on it. <laughs> I guess it can show, show, be seen in the video, maybe. Anyway. Um... So yeah, I beseech you, dear children, come to prayer with awareness. In prayer you shall come to know the greatness of God. Thank you for having responded to my call. Let your only instrument always be love. By love turn everything into good which Satan desires to destroy and possess. Only that way shall you be completely mine and I shall be able to help you. I desire that everyone may discover the joy and love which can be found only in God and in which only God can give. God doesn't want anything from you, only your surrender. Therefore, children, decide seriously for God because everything else passes away. Today I am inviting you to a renewal of prayer in your family so that way every family will become a joy to my son Jesus. Today I invite you to draw still closer to God through prayer. Only that way will I be able to help you and to protect you from every attack of Satan. But I need your prayers and your yes. You get lost easily in material and human things and forget that God is your greatest friend. Therefore, my dear little children, draw close to God so he may protect you and guard you from every evil. Thank you for having responded to my call. I invite you all to have more trust in me and to live my messages more deeply. I am with you and I intercede before God for you, but also I wait for your hearts to open up to my messages. Rejoice because God loves you and gives you the possibility to convert every day and to believe more in God the Creator. Thank you for having responded to my call. I desire little children to guide you all to Jesus because he is your salvation. Today I invite you to decide to give time patiently for prayer. Little children, you cannot say you are mine and that you have experienced conversion through my messages if you are not ready to give time to God every day. I am close to you and I bless you all. Little children, do not forget that if you do not pray, you are not close to me, nor are you close to the Holy Spirit who leads you along the path to holiness. See, these are really good secrets of life, uh, really good tips. Um, mysteries of life and veil, like um, the secrets of life that um, are explained by, by the spiritual beings from a really reputable source, you know. So you could really trust these and, um, and get inspired and learn things to pray for and things. Um, today I rejoice with you and I am praying with you for peace. Peace in your hearts, peace in your families, peace in your desires, peace in the whole world. May the King of Peace bless you today and give you your peace. Today I call you to love. Little children, without love you can neither live with God nor with brother. Therefore I call all of you to open your hearts to the love of God that is so great and open to each one of you. God, out of love for men, has sent me among you to show you the path of salvation, the path of love. If you do not first love God, then you will neither be able to love neighbor nor the one you hate. Therefore, little children, pray and through prayer you will discover love. I invite you, little children, to help me through your prayers so that as many hearts as possible come close to my immaculate heart. I beg you, pray and help me to help you. I'm your mother and I love you and that is why I wish to help you. Today I'm happy to see you in such great numbers that you have responded and that you've come to live my messages. I invite you to be joyful carriers of peace in this troubled world. Pray for peace so that as soon as possible a time of peace which my heart 
peace you leave for may reign. Today I invite you to prayer because only In prayer, can you understand my coming here? The Holy Spirit will enlighten you to understand that you must convert. Little children, I wish to make you of you a most beautiful bouquet prepared for eternity, but you do not accept the way of conversion, the way of salvation that I'm offering you through these apparitions. Little children, pray, convert your hearts, to, and come closer to me. May good overcome evil. I love you and bless you. When you adore Jesus, you are also close to me. Today I invite you to go into nature, because there you will meet God the Creator. Today I invite you to thank God for all that he gives you. In thanking him, you will discover the Most High and all the goods that surround you. Today I invite you that each of you begin to begin to love, in the first place, God who saved and redeemed each of you, and then brothers and sisters in your proximity. Pray without ceasing that God reveals his love to you. I pray that God reveals his love to the world. Pray to be able to... See, you've got to pray it right when you're reading it sometimes. So, even though these messages are really memorable, sometimes I really remember them. But still, there might be a few things you might forget. So, if it's something really important like a prayer, you should just pray it right, right then. Pray to be able to understand the love and goodness of God. I pray that the world is able to understand the love and goodness of God or that I am, or whoever needs it. So you could just pray it for the world, for yourself, for whoever needs it. You know, just some ideas. I just like to try and give a few ideas out there. If I get inspired, I like to share some. Um, today, I also rejoice with you and I bring you little Jesus, so that he may bless you. I invite you, dear children, so that your life may be united with him. Jesus is the King of Peace, and only he can give you the peace that you seek. I am with you, and I present you to Jesus in a special way. Now in this new time in which one should decide for him. This time is the time of grace. Pray that God give you the true peace. See, these are just a few favorite quotes that I was circling. I mean, there's a lot of good quotes in these, though. So I might not be able to say them all, but I'm just saying a few, you know. Um, I wish that each of you become a carrier of my messages. I invite you, little children, to live the messages that I've given you over these years. See, these are really important messages. I just I just welcome anybody to buy these books because they're really inspiring. Or sometimes you could just look for them online for free. Let me see if there's a website. Um, yeah. www.gambedit.com G-A-M-B-E-D-I-T Dot com. You might be able to, oh wait, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. Never mind, I'm sorry. Um, well, anyway, just, just Google, like, messages from Jesus um, online for free, or um, messages from the Virgin Mary is, is easier to find them. Sometimes if you type in messages from Jesus, it just gives you, like, Bible verses. But if you type in messages from the Virgin Mary, you sometimes can get messages from her. Messages from Jesus are sometimes trickier to find, but sometimes you can buy them online, like at Amazon or eBay or somewhere, or I'm not really sure, just thrift stores, um, different bookstores maybe. Um, let's see. I invite you to decide again to love God above all else. Okay, let's see what else. Um, by Jesus' passion and death on the cross, you will understand that only through prayer you too can become true apostles of faith. When in simplicity and prayer, you live faith, which is a gift. I invite you, little children, to see at this time who needs your spiritual or material help. Now, some of these are really inspiring books. They really inspired me because they said things like um, pray for unbelievers and pray for sinners, conversion, and they tell you really important prayers to pray. And So I really recommend these books. These really inspired me a lot. And when it said to pray for unbelievers, it could be that you could just pray for all the unbelievers, whoever needs it. Or you, if you if you know of any people that don't have religion, that don't have a, or that don't have a religion with Jesus, if they're in a like false cult, or um, if the religion doesn't have Jesus, that's probably a false cult. Or if people are just falling away from religion, they don't have a religion, you could pray for them, um, pray for their salvation, that they can come to um, Jesus and mercy of Him and to be helped to be making it to the good realm later, to heaven later, paradise later. Um, 
because that this I think was the book that said to pray for unbelievers. So this is a special book. It really says some important things. Um, all these books are really good though. But um, um, somebody just well, the, this was probably the first book I discovered in the whole series of the messages from the spiritual beings. And so this one's like especially um, good one. But so once again, it's called "Thank You for Having Responded to My Call." Messages from the Queen of Peace, Medjugorje. Okay. It's, it's really Jesus and Mother talking. That's what makes it so like special. It's so amazing like that. Okay, my presence here is to take you on a new path, the path to salvation. That is why I call you day after day to conversion. But if you do not pray, you cannot say that you're on the way to being converted. And this says stuff like also to pray the rosary every day. And lately, I've been trying to pray it some days. Um, a good way to do it is to pray it while you're either, you know, pray at a certain, um, a certain time that it's convenient, like maybe... Like while you're brushing your hair, if you have long hair that takes like a half hour to brush, or while you're before going to bed, or whatever works, a, a routine so it's easy to pray, you know, just relaxing and easy. Hopefully a time when you're not doing too much distracting, distracting things, you know. just If you're just really bored brushing your hair or something, maybe you could kind of focus on it, or um, something like that. Well, anyway, that's just what I've learned recently, because otherwise it was hard to fit into my day to do that, even though I kept wanting to, I'm like... Because I like to try and live by some of the things, you know, that saying. Um, my presence here is to take you on a new path, the path to salvation. Okay. Uh, what else? Okay, there's so many good messages in here. I don't think I can pray them all. But, I mean, I don't even know if I could say them all, I mean. I am calling you to a complete surrender to God. Let everything that you possess be in the hands of God. But I'll just give you, like, a little sample here, and then if you really get inspired, you could check it out yourself and buy the books, you know, if you can find them. And if you can't find one, just look for another one. Just look for anything that looks inspiring, really, you know, anything that looks of the good side of truth that helps you believe in Jesus or positive things. That's not good. Anything inspiring. Do not attribute importance to petty things. Long for heaven. Dear children, seek from God the graces which he has given you through me. I am ready to intercede with God for all that you seek, so that your holiness may be complete. Therefore, do not forget to seek, because God has permitted me to obtain graces for you. Today I want to call all of you to decide for paradise. The way is difficult for those who have not decided for God. Dear children, decide and believe that God is offering himself to you in his fullness. You are invited, and you need to answer the call. Dedicate your time only to Jesus, and then he will give you everything that you are seeking. He will reveal himself to you in fullness. I call on each one of you to consciously decide for God and against Satan. I want each of you to be happy here on earth and to be with me in heaven. So pray that God's blessing may protect each one of you from all the evil that is threatening you. I pray that God's blessing may protect each one that the evil is th so it won't be threatening to them. See, I'm just giving us an example of how to pray it. Like, I don't know. I was trying to just inspire people here. I don't know. <laughs> like, today my call to you is that in your life, you live love toward God and neighbor. Without love, you can do nothing. I just want to share a few cool things I discovered, like these messages. So anyway... Um, I'm a mother, and even though I feel pain for each one that goes astray, I forgive easily, and I'm happy for each child who returns to me. I'm calling you to the love of neighbor and love toward the one from whom evil comes to you. In that way, with love, you will be able to discern the intention of, of hearts. Pray and love, dear children. By love, you are able to do even that which you think is impossible. I wish to tell you to open your hearts to the master of all hearts. Oops. Ah. Today I call you to live the word this week. I love God. Dear children, through love you will achieve everything and even what you think is impossible. Encourage the very young to prayer and the children to go to Holy Mass. And don't believe any lies if you were involved in any cults like Darwinism in the schools or anything. Don't believe that because don't think it's a myth. There's so much more to life than all these lies that you've been told. You know, if you've been in cults, 
just try to just learn a whole new way. I know that might be difficult, but... It's better than wasting your whole life in a lie, you know, being deceived. It's better to seek inspiration that might be help, actually helpful to saving your soul. Because the Bible said some religions have a form of religion, right? But they deny the whole point. They deny the whole power if they don't have Jesus and his mercy and his saving grace of salvation to help you enter into heaven, paradise later. Um, because that's the whole point of religion, if it helps save your soul for paradise, heaven, right? So if it doesn't have that, then why have it? It's just some worldly wisdom. It might have some good in it, but it, if it's not going to save your soul, just consider it like entertainment or something. Consider it like a supplemental extra thing that's not really necessary, you know? Don't consider it like an essential if it's not going to help save your soul, you know? Um, it's just the petty thing that it is, you know? It's, it's a, an even negative thing if it distracts you and misleads you into a lie that's I'm um, going to make you miss out on knowing about what's important, like salvation, you know? Like, you might not get lost necessarily if you never had a chance to hear about salvation yet. Like, I think the Bible might have a verse that says that because I heard a preacher say it, that the people that never got to hear about the gospel of Jesus, they never got to hear about it, or they never really had a good opportunity to get inspired yet. As long as you're not unreceptive or against it or ungrateful and, and against it and mad at it or anything or disbelieving in it, as long as you're not like that, um, you could have a chance during a thousand new reign even if you got misled. Even if you were born in a country where there's only false religions or different things that were disadvantages and if you never had a real chance to be a, like in a true religion with Jesus, then um, you could have a chance during a thousand new reign. So you can look forward to that. Just make sure you're not against Jesus in his mercy because that could help you gain um, eternal life in paradise later. So just don't uh, make a decision too much for any of these false cults or any of these lies because if they're not going to be promising salvation or anything helpful, then don't waste time with them, you know. Today I wish to tell you to open your hearts to God like the spring flowers which crave for the sun. By prayer you can completely disarm him and ensure your happiness. Some of these I put in my artwork. It's funny. I recognize them. It kind of helped me memorize some of them when I put them on artwork. It's kind of neat. I thought that would be a kind of a good way to kind of emphasize and advertise the messages, you know, like to put them on those. Um, every family must pray family prayer and read the Bible. Look around you, dear children, and you will see how greatly sin has dominated the world. Pray, therefore, that Jesus conquers. I pray that Jesus does conquer. Pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on your families and on your parish. I pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the families and the parish. I pray for people that don't have families too though I don't even have like I didn't even have a family because I didn't even get married so I know technically we have relatives still but still it's like I pray for all the unloved well they're not unloved they just haven't probably found the right spouse but like they f might feel that way I pray for all those people too <laughs> the Holy Spirit helps them to be on the good side or whatever too okay Please do not let my heart weep with tears of blood because of the souls who are lost in sin. Therefore, dear children, pray, pray, pray. Yeah, praying for sinners is a really good thing. Like, if you see sinners in different crime shows or those horror stories or all these ghost stories, you know, you could pray for them. Either the conversion prayer, the O blood conversion prayer, or the thousand soul prayer. which I've already said in my videos so many times, so you could just watch my other videos that I'm probably saying it. <laughs> or just ask me if you want me to tell you again, but like, if you didn't watch my other videos. Um, today I beseech you to stop slandering. Um, let's see what else. 
so yeah this is just a really good book so uh, Virgin Mary Messages books I recommend them highly and let's see if there's any other good there's just a lot like you, you see what I mean there's a lot of really good points in these you know they're the most amazing books I thought wow these are the most amazing books it's really the spiritual beings talking so it's really important stuff the rosary little children is especially dear to me through the rosary open your heart to me and I am able to help you open the door of your heart and you will comprehend that prayer is joy without which you cannot live That is why with my son Jesus on this day I call you to pray, 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 because without prayer you do not have joy or peace or a future. Wow, see how important it's saying. Also today I rejoice with you and I call you all to prayer with the heart. Also today I call you to convert and to more firmly believe in God. I am with you. It to teach you and to bring you closer to the love of God. If you love God above all else, it will be easy for you to pray and to open your hearts to Him. Be strong and pray so that prayer will give, may give you strength and joy. May each day be a joyful witness for you of God's love. Renew prayer in your families and form prayer groups. In this way, you will experience joy in prayer and togetherness. I call you today and encourage you to pray for peace. I bless you all and call you to be closer to my heart and to the heart of little Jesus. Do not forget, I am with you and bless you all. All you priests pray the rosary. Dedicate your time to the rosary. I invite you to call on everyone to pray the rosary. With the rosary you shall overcome all the adversities which Satan is trying to inflict on the Catholic Church. Tonight I wish to tell you during the day for this novena to pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on your families and on your parish. Prevails in all hearts. I pray that the truth does prevail in all hearts. Hi, Booty! Booty Boo! Hi! 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 I am calling you to sincere prayer with the heart so that every prayer of yours may be an encounter with God in your work and in your everyday life. Put God in the first place. Therefore, pray and do not permit Satan to work in your life through misunderstandings, the non-understanding, and non-acceptance of one another. I especially want you to renounce all the things to which you are attached but which are hurting your spiritual life. God wants to save you and sends you messages through men, nature, and so many things which can only help you to understand that you must change the direction of your life. You can discover and recognize him only in prayer. God is offering himself to you in fullness. Even the rosary alone can work miracles in the world and in your lives. Anyway, there's so many good books of these. I like. I want to do all these other reviews of more of these too, but I can only like do one a day probably. So I'll just do at least this one 
Do not forget that your life does not belong to you, but is a gift with which you must bring joy to others and lead them to eternal life. May the tenderness of the little Jesus always accompany you. These days are the days when you need to decide for God, for peace, and for the good. You are all my children. I love you. But little children, you must not forget that without prayer, you cannot be close to me. Today, I invite you to open yourselves to God, the Creator, so that He changes you. Also today, I call you to fasting and renunciation. Renounce that which hinders you from being closer to Jesus. Do not be afraid. I am with you and I intercede before God for each of you so that your heart receives the gift of conversion. I desire that, become, that you become apostles of love. By loving little children, it will be recognized that you are mine. This is a time of grace for you. Make good use of it for your personal conversion because when you have God, you have everything. I am your mother. I love you and I desire that each of you be saved and thus be with me in heaven. So yeah, I didn't want to just say this book is great. I want to show you that this book is great, right? So I'll give you some sample quotes here. Today I call you to prayer. The one who prays is not afraid of the future. Wow, isn't that an interesting part? The one who prays is not afraid of the future. I do not forget that you are here on earth on the way to eternity and that your home is in heaven. This is a time of grace. That is why pray, pray, pray until you comprehend God's love for each of you. The one who prays is not afraid of the future. The one who fasts is not afraid of evil. Once again, I repeat to you, only through prayer and fasting also wars can be stopped. Wars of your unbelief and fear of the future. I am with you and I am teaching you, little children. Your peace and hope are in God. That is why I draw closer to God and put him in the first place in your life. This is a time of grace. You are concerned about everything else but the least for the soul and spiritual life. Awaken from the tired sleep of your soul and say yes to God with all your strength. Decide for conversion and holiness. I am with you and call you to perfection of your soul and of everything you do. Ooh, Bootsy Bear, these are good messages, huh, Bootsy Bear? Wishes are really good, great, you know that. See, I think we put them all up, Boots. I think we put up a lot of them, sister. Give thanks to God because everything is God's gift to you. That way, in your life, you shall be able to give thanks for everything and discover God in everything, even the smallest flower. Even the smallest flower named Daisy, Daisy Jr. This little puppy's name is Daisy, named after a flower. I appreciate Daisy flowers. Aww. <laughs> oh, you're so nice, Boozy Bear. Once again, I desire to call you to prayer. When you pray, you are much more beautiful. Like flowers. <laughs> which after the snow show all their beauty and all their colors become indescribable. So also you, dear children, after prayer show before God, also much more what is beautiful and also beloved by Him. Therefore, pray and open your inner self to the Lord so that He makes of you a harmonious and beautiful flower for paradise. See, these messages were spoken to some children in the country of Croatia, in Europe, and so that's why it's all like said towards dear children. But it, it's really messages for everybody, really, a lot of them. So, I'm just explaining a little story behind it, you know, like that. But anyway, so, I guess.
guess that's good. So there you go. This is again the messages from the Queen of Peace, Medjugorje. Really great book. One of the best books ever. Add it to your collection if you want, or look 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 for them online for free too, probably. So okay, just wanted to share inspiration with you guys. It's really important stuff. And so peace out.